Good day everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Marissa, Filipino wife in America. Today we are going to talk about how to retire in the Philippines even if you are not a Filipino citizen. Is it possible to retire in the Philippines to live there for good even if you are not a Filipino? The answer to that question is yes. Anybody can retire in the Philippines, even if you are not a Filipino citizen. Philippines is open for any nationality who wants to retire in the country. The first question is, who are eligible to retire in the Philippines? What do you need to do in order to retire in the Philippines? First thing to do is, you are going to open the website of the Philippine Retirement Authority. You can see the form. Fill out the form with your information. With that form, that would lead you to the application of the Special Resident Retirees Visa. The Special Resident Retirees Visa, or SRRV, is a non-immigrant visa issued by the Bureau of Immigration, or BI, of the Republic of the Philippines under the Retirement Program of the Philippine Retirement Authority, or PRA. This is issued to foreigners and overseas Filipinos. In other words, Filipinos who have become citizens in the other country. If you have the SRR visa, you are entitled to stay permanently and indefinitely in the Philippines. So in other words, you are like a regular Filipino citizen. Who may apply for this special resident retirees visa? A retiree who applies for a Special Resident Retirees Visa, or SRRV, has the option to enroll to the program based from his retirement status. Here are the retirement options. And the required time deposit. Number one, if you are a retiree with pension and you are 50 years old and above, the required time deposit is $10,000 US dollars plus a monthly pension of 800 US dollars if you are a single applicant and one a pension of 1000 US dollars if you are a couple now number 2 if you retire without a pension 35 to 49 years old very young with a time deposit of 50000 US dollars and if you are 50 years old without a pension you should have a time deposit of 20,000 US dollars. For former Filipino citizens who are 35 to 49 years old, regardless of the number of dependents, you just need to have 1,500 US dollars. That's kind of cheap. That's a big privilege for former Filipino citizens. If you happen to be ambassadors of foreign countries, who served and retired in the Philippines and you are current and former staff members of international organizations including AGB and at least you are 50 years old you still are required to have 1500 US dollars number 3 if you are a resident retiree you can bring with you your spouse and child provided the child or the children are below 21 years old if you bring another kid, you would also add another fee. Additional children with the same qualifications may also be allowed to join the principal retiree provided there is an additional deposit of 15,000 US dollars per child. This does not apply to former Filipino citizens. What is the validity of SRRV? The holder of SRRV may reside in the Philippines without securing extensions of his stay from the Bureau of Immigration. Now, another question. Are SRRV holders exempted from travel tax? Philippine Retirement Authority members or PRA members who are holders of valid SRR visa are exempted from paying travel tax, provided they have not stayed in the Philippines for more than one year from the date of last entry into the country. Another question, can SRRV holder own real property in the Philippines? Definitely no. A holder of SRR visa cannot buy a real property in the Philippines. However, if he or she is legally married to a Filipino citizen, 
he or she may construct a residential unit on a parcel of land owned and or registered in the name of the Philippine spouse. Next to this, natural-born former Filipino citizens whose SRRV has been issued may own or acquire a maximum area of 5,000 square meters of urban land and 3 hectares of agricultural land. So there's a specific number of hectares and square meters for which a, a former Filipino citizen can buy. Next question, is the dollar deposit convertible to other currency? The dollar deposit may be converted into peso after 30 days upon issuance of the special resident retirees visa. Next question, where do I get the approval of SRRV? The approval of your application will come from the Bureau of Immigration or BI. The pre-evaluation of the application is made by the Philippine Retirement Authority where applications are filed. Next question, how long is the processing time? Processing time takes 7 to 10 working days upon receipt of complete requirements. I'll give you again the requirements for those who are planning to retire in the Philippines. If you want to apply for the SRR visa, here are the requirements. Number one, completed Philippine Retirement Authority application form. Number two, valid passport. Number three, DFA medical examination form. Number 11, accomplished by a licensed physician from the applicant's place of origin including AIDS test, duly authenticated by the Philippine Embassy or consulate posted there, or Philippine Retirement Authority medical certificate with the number RSSC form number 002, accomplished by a licensed physician in the Philippines. Four, certification by PRA or Philippine Retirement Authority shortlisted bank of the requisite deposit in the following categories. Letter A, with pension, 50 years old and above, the required time deposit is $10,000 plus a monthly pension of $800 US for a single applicant and $1,000 US for a couple. Letter B, if you belong here without pension, 35 to 49 years old, the time deposit should be $50,000 US. If you are 50 years old and above, the time deposit should be $20,000 US. If you are former Filipino citizens and at least 35 years old, regardless of the number of dependents, the time deposit is only 1,500 US dollars. If you are ambassadors of foreign countries who served and retired in the Philippines, current and former staff members of international organizations including ADB, 50 years old, you are also required to have the time deposit of 1,500 US dollars. Number five, police clearance, duly authenticated by the Philippine Embassy or Consulate, issued abroad or National Bureau of Investigation or NBI clearance, issued in the Philippines. Number six, photographs or photos. It should be 2.4 centimeters and five centimeters, six pieces each. If the spouse is joining the applicant, marriage certificate or marriage contract, if the applicant's marriage was solemnized in the Philippines, or marriage certificate duly authenticated by the Philippine Embassy or consulate nearest the applicant's residence abroad, if the marriage was contracted abroad under the Philippine Retirement Authority rules, should the resident retiree suffer an untimely de demise, the surviving spouse who is a holder of SRRV has the option to become the principal retiree using the original principal dollar deposit as his or her. If he or she chooses not to, the law on succession shall apply. Number eight, if the dependent or dependents are joining the applicant, you need to have the birth certificate or birth certificates. Number nine, the payment of 3,600 pesos. Those are the things you need to know when, when you decide to retire in the Philippines. And if you have other questions, you can just leave the comments down below. And remember, you can also log on to the Bureau of Immigration. And you can also search the website of the Philippine Retirement Authority so you can see the form. Now, if you still have more questions, you can leave your comments down below. Thank you for watching. Now, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to hit the notification bell. And if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe so you will be notified on my next video. Thank you.